Hello. I broke my jaw in three places recently, so I'm going with an older stable release. <laughs> this talk is about open source atmospheric correction. Most of Earth observing satellites measure reflected sunlight to create images. The atmosphere interacts with this sunlight, which is why the sky is blue. Although beautiful, this is a problem because the signal reaching the satellite is a mixture of information from the Earth's surface and from the atmosphere. 6S is an open source radiative transfer code which models the interaction of sunlight with the Earth and its atmosphere. It is at least as accurate as ModTran. NASA and USGS use it for some major satellite missions, including Landsat and MODIS. We interact with 6S through an excellent Python wrapper called Pi6S, created by Robin Wilson. However, the accurate physical modeling of Earth's atmosphere performed by 6S takes around two seconds to run on a standard desktop, which adds up if you want to correct a significant number of images. A thousand images with just a single wave band would take over half an hour. We created a 6S emulator. It is accurate to within half a percent to the original 6S code, and it works with any satellite mission. Here is how it works. Take some input from the Earth's origins, run it through the emulator, and get two correlate correction coefficients, A and B. Surface reflectance is then a linear combination of radiance and these coefficients. Here is a before and an after for Honolulu in Hawaii. Thank you. Question. Thank you. Question. <laughs> If, if there's a question, I'll try and get him to mumble through his clenched teeth. <laughs> Where do you get the atmospheric variables? From Earth Engine. Uh, Which data set? Um, yeah, from like NCAR reanalysis uh, for the H2O and O3, and the AO2 is MODIS, and elevation is SRTM, and then there's the Dehuvia. If I remember correctly, they don't have the profile data. They only have single variables. Uh, yeah. So this is just for correcting visible to shortwave infrared. You couldn't correct thermal infrared this way, if that's what you're asking. 